The function buttons feature is a part of the Boyum B1 usability package. It allows users the ability to place up to 10 buttons per screen on the majority of screens in SAP Business One. These buttons can be configured to open up additional screens in SAP or provide additional functionality through the function of a formatted search. First, let's navigate to Administration, Add-ons, B1 Usability Package, B1 Usability Config to verify that the function button's feature is active. On the B1 Usability Configuration screen, under the Quick and Easy Customization section, make sure that the checkbox next to the Use Function Buttons is checked. This checkbox must be checked in order for the Function Buttons feature to be active. Now that the Function Buttons feature is active, we can navigate to a screen in SAP to assign various Function Buttons to it. For this example, let's navigate to Business Partners, Business Partner Master Data to demonstrate adding buttons to the Business Partner Master Data screen. Let's say for this example, we want to add two buttons to the Business Partner screen that automatically open a new sales order or AR invoice with the business partner already selected. With the business partner master data open, you can right click in the background of the screen and select the add function buttons to this window option. Doing so will display the buttons configuration screen. Near the top of the screen will be the code field. In this field will be the unique code for the current button configuration. Next, in the form type field, is where you can enter the specific screen the buttons will apply to. In this example, since we right-clicked on the Business Partner Master Data screen, the form type will be set to 134 automatically. You can verify that this is the correct form type by going to View System Information, and while your mouse is hovering over a field on the Business Partner Master Data screen, you can see at the bottom left of SAP that the form type equals 134. The description field will display the description of the form type. So in this instance, it will display the words Business Partner Master Data. The form width and height fields will modify the size of the standard SAP window. It is recommended that you keep the form width and height blank. Below that in the button width field will be where you can specify how wide the buttons will be. If you leave the field blank, it will default the buttons to a width of 100 pixels. Over in the Users field will be where you can select specific users to either be included or excluded for the specific function buttons. For example, if I select the users Bill and Brad in the Users field and the Include Users radio button is selected, both Bill and Brad will be the only users that will see the new function buttons on the Business Partner Master Data screen. Now if the Exclude Users radio button is selected, then Bill and Brad will be the only users that will not be able to see the function buttons on the Business Partner Master Data screen, while all the other users will be able to see the buttons. Below that in the Category field, if you have configured any categories within the B1 Usability Package, you will be able to select a category in this field. Moving on to the Buttons section, this is where you can set up the specific features for how each button will function. In the Active column, is where you can designate if a button is active or not. Next, in the caption column, is where you can enter in the name that will display on your button. So for this example, I will enter in sales order in the caption field. The function column is how you assign a particular function to the button. In the drop-down selection will be various different functions or areas in the system that can be assigned to the button. You can select either a formatted search SAP document or report, universal function, or create a multi-button. Since this button should open a sales order document, let's select the order option. The universal function field will only be used if the option universal function is selected in the function field. This field is where you can specify which universal function the button will run. The multi-button field will only be used if the value in the function field is set to multi-button. In this field, you will be able to specify which multi-button will be used for the new button that is being created. The Add, Find, and OK columns all refer to which status the screen is in, and if the corresponding checkbox is checked, then the button will be active during that mode. 
So in this example, if I check the OK checkbox and leave the Add and Find checkboxes unchecked, then the Sales Order button will only be available for selection when the Business Partner Master Data is in OK mode. Next, the Formatted Search Target column will only be used when the Function button is set up to a formatted search. If the value from the formatted search should be entered in a field on the form, this is where you would enter in the ID for that field. This ID is titled Item, and it can be found at the bottom left of SAP when you hover over the corresponding field with the system information active. If the formatted search is meant to populate a column, you can enter in the column ID in the formatted search target column field. The column ID can be found at the bottom left of SAP when you hover over the corresponding column with the system information active. Moving on to the formatted search target identifier column. This will also only be used when the function button is set to a formatted search. This field can be used to validate more advanced formatted searches. If you have created any categories within the B1 usability package, you will be able to select one of the categories in the category column. The last column is the item UID column. By default, it will display the default item unique identifier of the button, so you should leave this field as the default value that is populated. For backwards compatibility purposes, you still have the option to overwrite that value for more advanced scenarios. When you need to add or remove a function button, you can click either the add or remove button on the right side of the main window. Alternatively, you can also enter in a new caption below the last button in order to add a new button. If you need to remove a button, you must highlight the row first and then select the remove button. At the bottom right of the screen, you have the ability to import or export any of the function buttons, either from this specific scenario or a different one. Towards the bottom left of the window will be an active checkbox. This active checkbox will determine if the button configuration is active. So if I uncheck the active checkbox, none of the buttons will appear on the business partner master data. With all the information for the function buttons entered, let's proceed to add the buttons. Now that the buttons have been added, we will need to reopen the Business Partner Master Data screen in order to see the buttons. By default, the newly created buttons will appear on the right side of the window. If I select the Sales Order button in this instance, I will be taken to a Sales Order document in Add Mode with the Business Partner already selected in the Customer field. Likewise, if I select the AR Invoice button, it will display an AR invoice in add mode with the corresponding business partner already selected. The function button feature that is a part of the Boyum B1 usability package is great for adding additional functionality to the various screens in your system. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.